In just a couple hours, the latest official to testify in the impeachment inquiry that he was troubled by the president's actions is the top Ukraine expert on the National Security Council. He is an active duty military officer. He is awarded a Purple Heart after being wounded in Iraq. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman writes in his opening testimony today, quote, I have a deep appreciation for American values and ideals and the power of freedom. I am a patriot and it is my sacred duty and honor to advance and defend our country irrespective of party or politics. Here with me to discuss CNN political commentators and former Republican members of Congress, Sean Duffy and Charlie Denk. M Mr. Vidman, um, he's, an, he's, a, he's an advisor to the president. Um, he is a former Ukrainian. He wants to make sure the taxpayer money goes in military aid to I'm the sorry, Ukraine. I'm sorry, why does it matter to why that does position? It matter where he was born? He, I'm sorry, he, Congressman Duffy. Why I'm, does it matter I'm, where I'm he was born? That, that came up on Fox News. He's an active duty military member, uh, an American he, he, who was awarded the Purple you know Heart. I'm a, I'm of Irish descent. Um, I still love the Irish. Um, and he has an affinity probably for his homeland. That's not my point, though, John. My point is that he gives advice to the president. He doesn't set policy. So the president has a lot of advisors who give different opinions and different views, but the president is elected by 60-plus million people to actually implement the policy, and that's exactly what he did. And so the, you have Mr. Vindman who says, I don't think that we should look back to the 2016 election and hold up military aid unless um, the Ukraine cooperates with us. Well, th listen, we spent two years in that investigation. We have every right to know all the facts we can about foreign influence in our election. And then number two, he said, well, I don't think that we should investigate a foreign citizen. Well, if, if a foreign citizen, a, foreign vi a former vice president was involved in corruption, we do have a right to investigate it because that's exactly what Barack Obama did to Donald Trump in the 2016 election. So uh, I, I, just, I disagree with his assessment. I don't have any problem with his opening statement. I just don't, I think it's a nothing burger. All right, let me just, so our viewers know, well, number I, one, number one, well, there has been no credible accusation against the former vice president for corruption, period, full stop. Um, well, his own statement, John. I mean, he made a statement saying he had a quid pro quo, that he had a prosecutor fired who was listen, investigating listen, the Listen, Congressman Duffy, it's, it's, it's wasting, and, and Congressman, Duffy, Congressman Duffy, we're wasting time on that because there was no active investigation what? What? of Burisma at the time, number what? one. Everyone, including but Republican senators, wanted that prosecutor John. fired, including the World Bank, international actors, and Republican senators. Uh, just, That's a diversion. I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, though, I have to say, and I want, I want, uh, I, I want... I want Charlie Dent to jump in here. Um, this colonel, Colonel Vindman, talked about how much he loves America. And the very first thing you brought up was where he was born. He's a decorated American yeah. war hero. Uh, Congressman Dent, what does it say to you that that's well, look, apparently uh, a criticism? He's you. He well, he's Ukrainian-American. We have Polish-Americans, German-Americans, Irish, Chinese-Americans. Thank you. What does it matter? The point is... Uh, he's proud of his he's proud of his ethnicity. OK, he's a, he's an American patriot. He serves us. And like many of many Americans, and I suspect particularly Ukrainian Americans, they want Ukraine, Ukraine to be independent, free from under the Russian boot. Yeah. That is the American policy. I do want to go back to the beginning here because it's been nagging at me the whole time here, which is that when I asked you about Colonel Vindman, the very first thing you said was he was Ukrainian. So, so yes or no, do you, do you trust Ambassador Bill Taylor more because he was born in the United States? Where does the location no. of his birth well, matter? Well, Mark Meadows, so, who I'm, I think I'm, you agree with, was born in France. Is, is he right. pro-French by definition? That's a pretty stunning comment well, you made I, just there. And it's remarkable so and notable given that Laura Ingram last night and, and her apparent talking points brought it up as well. So I read his statement, John, and I'm sure you did as well. Um, and it seems very clear that he is incredibly concerned about Ukrainian defense. I don't know that he's concerned about American policy, but his main mission was to make sure that the Ukraine got those weapons. I understand that. We all have an affinity to our homeland where we came from. Like me, I'm sure that Vidman has the same affinity. Or, or like Mark Meadows. Well, I'm just sorry. France, Are you suggesting that you would, you would put and Irish so, defense and, Irish defense over U.S. defense? Is that what you're saying, Congressman so so are we saying are we saying that by giving this money to the Ukraine that absolutely is the money that's going to secure American national defense against Russia? I mean I just I don't I don't believe that. And so he's entitled to his opinion. He has an affinity I think for the Ukraine. He speaks Ukrainian. He came from the country and he wants to make sure they're safe and free. I understand that. That's an asset but the for president this country. Is the, my point it's an is asset. the president is the one who gets to set the policy <laughs> and he's the one who looks out for America first and the American taxpayer 
and the American citizens. And he'll are take you advice saying, from all Are you saying that people, Colonel Vindman, a, a decorated war veteran, isn't looking out for America first, yes or no? I, I don't know what he's doing. I, I, I think what in, you can't say yes, John, that Colonel I Vindman, your viewers and, and, to read it. You can't say what, that he's looking I out for America was, first. You can't he, say that Colonel Vindman, a decorated war veteran, is looking out for America first. He had tied. The, the Ukrainian military money from U.S. taxpayers together for American national defense. And I think that that can be debatable, mm -hmm. and that policy can differ based on what kind of money mm -hmm. the Europeans give, the kind of corruption that's involved in the Ukraine. Um, and uh, I think that's all relevant consideration. And so I think there's a broader perspective that President Trump has on putting our country mm -hmm. and our taxpayers first. And I think, reading the statement, that Vindman had a concern for, Sean, for Ukrainian Con Congressman national Dent, Congressman defense. Dent, what that do you think, Sean, what do you Sean, think of Sean, a Republican defense that, that, that does not think Sean. that a U.S. colonel would put America first, Congressman Dent? Look, look, Sean, I, I, I have to ask you a question, Sean. Do you think that the United States should be supporting Ukraine to get the Russians out of their country. Do you think that should be our policy? Yeah, or do you no, think I the do. president uh, is... Okay, you do. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that because when I hear this, I mean... I'm not the president, I get though, the Charlie. sense many times... And they've got the money. Well, I, well, I understand, so but the president about? is commander-in-chief. And but we... Uh, well, well, Congress, I thought Congress was trying to help set policy. Congress provides the funds uh, to support and implement our national security strategy. The president and, sets uh, the foreign policy. I, I like the Congress doesn't we're all set on the same policy. page. There's a, there is a here's, shadow here's, but, but, of Ukraine but, policy being run here by but, people who had, I think, a different agenda point. than what I had and what apparently you had. I, I had never heard of Mr. Vidman before last night, and I'm sure, John, you hadn't, and I'm sure, mm -hmm. Charlie, you hadn't either. So I don't know anything about him, but nope. for the resume that I read, I don't know, I don't know anything about mm -hmm. him. So I can't judge whether right. he puts America first. I spent well, the last five years looking but, at Donald Trump people, fighting for right, the American you know people, and so I know he's trying to put them first. We I gotta, can't judge him because like, I don't know we him. Gotta go. like, we got to go. we got to go, Congressman Dent, Congressman Duffy. Okay. I thank you both for being with <laughs> us. Uh, hey, I thanks, heard John. about his name hey, last week. I like week. Charlie, too, by the way. You what? We're, we're friends. Who? Yeah, we're, I like Charlie, good, by the way. We're, we're friends. Good buddies. We're just disagreeing. Uh, we're buddies. You, you we're guys buddies. seem like <laughs> chums. I, I can just say, when I looked at Colonel right. Vidman's <laughs> resume, what jumped out to me was American war veteran, Purple Heart, and a lieutenant colonel uh, part of it. That's what jumped out to me first. Uh, and I speak French. It doesn't mean I put French first. Uh, Congressman Duffy, Congressman Dent, I do appreciate you both being with us.